Have you heard all the hype about creating passive income in your life? Maybe you've heard it from me or some online guru about how important it is to have passive income in your life. Well, it's true, but they don't always tell you the whole story. And so I wanna help you with that today. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is five passive income truths no one tells you. All right, so we hear all the time how important passive income really is in your life. And so many people out there, they don't really have passive income. In fact, the only time they really get passive income is, well, when they're on social security and that's like decades down the line. And so we're not here waiting for passive income. We're not waiting for the government to pass us out you know, money. That's not what we're here to do. We're here to create freedom at an early age or at whatever age you are. And so I wanna talk about some truths around the path to financial freedom and around passive income that not everyone always talks about. You hear the highlight reel, but here at Master Life by Design, me and my wife, we like to keep it real at the same time. So with that, let's jump in. All right, the first one is nothing is really ever passive. Okay, we might think things are passive, whether we're talking business or real estate, we might think it's passive. We might have a property manager, but we are going to have to make decisions on the property. We are gonna to have to get an update around the property or a business, you might have meetings around it. And so while your time might go from way up here and come all the way down to here, you're still gonna to have to add some time into it, some active time towards it. And it might not be a lot and that's fine, but there's no such thing really as passive income. So let's get that myth right out of the gate, like just destroy it right now because that's not true. Nothing is really passive. I don't care what business model you show me, you're still having to put some work in at some point. Otherwise, it will fizzle out eventually. And I've seen it in network marketing, I've seen it in real estate. I can see it in almost every industry that we talk about passive income. So first one is, it's never really passive. Number two, it's hard work. There's a lot of challenges when you're using a vehicle to create passive income in your life. Now we're talking either business or real estate. It's a lot of work and most people don't tell you about all the hard work that it takes to get to it. And it does, and that doesn't even include all the challenges that show up once it's created or established. So it takes a lot of time, energy, and even money to keep it stabilized, a business or a real estate investment. And here's the truth. The truth of the matter is it's easier to work a nine to five job than it is to have passive income and continuing to grow it. Most people won't tell you that. That's why so many people actually just stick to a job because it fluctuates over time. Income can fluctuate and that's gonna lead us to number three. Your income can come and go really quickly. So look, when you create passive income, if it's a business, it could come and go, right? I literally have couple streams of passive income on the business side where we have coaches that work for us. And one thing that shows up and one thing that's actually happened to us is that we had in a partnership where we had things that were going well, but there were some miscommunications and that partnership got terminated. Now we're still friends, so don't worry, everything's golden and good to go. I still, in fact, after I record this video, I'm gonna be working with their community to help their, their people go to the next level for financial freedom, so that's fun. And the money came and then it went within three months. And so you gotta be prepared that whether it's business, especially business where income can go up and down really quickly, or if it's real estate, whether you're renting out like a short-term rental and maybe you have one good month and then the next month is nothing, there's a lot of fluctuation in that process. So no matter what you're doing, make sure that when you predict your passive income, never take the top amount, especially in real estate. Like if you're gonna be able to have a short-term rental and it says you can max out on eight grand a month, I wouldn't use eight grand a month as my baseline. Like why would I use the max? It doesn't make sense. I would use probably anywhere from 40 to 60% of that as a baseline, maybe more towards 40%, and then start to think about how do I maximize to get to 60 or higher, all right? So again, income, when it comes to passive income, can come and go really quickly. So that's why as you're building it, you wanna start stacking more and more on top. And we'll talk about that later on in another video and why that's important. Number four is sometimes it's growing too slow. 
Most people want their passive income to just go through the roof and they want to be able to live off of it and live this luxurious lifestyle and then post all over social media about how amazing passive income is. And so, but I will tell you over time, it, it starts to add up, but most people, they're not active enough or have the capital to invest where their passive income can build rapidly. Now, there are some really good strategies out there, especially in real estate, like subject to deals or even if in business where you can buy an established business that is already turnkey. And if you could get no money down with 100% seller financing, that would be amazing. Those are unicorns, but they do happen. Um, but what I will tell you is it usually grows very slowly. Now I know people in my network, they like to buy one house a year and make 100 to 300, maybe $500 a door. And that is what they're doing over the next 20 years so that they can have 20 properties and they can cash flow 500 bucks and that's $10,000 a month or something like that. Yeah, they, yeah, $10,000 a month. And so that's great for them. But in 20 years, 10 grand a month isn't gonna be anything. Right now, 10 grand a month is hard. I can't even live off of 10 grand a month with two boys that eat everything in the house but yes when we talk about passive income it is so important to understand that it's not going to be you know hero or zero to hero overnight it's going to take some time now the amount of effort you put in and network you have and the relationships you build that can absolutely accelerate it right you if you can use other people's money you can have have people helping you find deals and you can put everything all the pieces of the puzzle together you can create passive income a lot faster but the average person that is searching for financial freedom and creating passive income it's going to take some time and it's not as glorious as you may think. It takes a lot of hard work as we talked about in number two. All right, number five is most people don't live off of their passive income, at least not out of the beginning. It's until they hit a certain point that they live off of their income. Most people, what they do is they increase their lifestyle. Or if you're smart about it, is you take that money and you reinvest it to create even more passive income. I can't tell you how many times people that I've coached did, hey, I have passive income coming in, I have this amount coming in, but you know what, I'm going on this trip and that's gonna pay for my trip. But in reality, it's like their entire annual passive income all in one trip. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Sacrifice the trips, take that money, reinvest it into an opportunity or a business or a piece of real estate that's gonna create more passive income. Now, I have a client of mine that I'm thinking of right now that actually left his job like a year ago. He helped him become financially free. And I know exactly how much passive income he has. What's great about it is he's using his time to create more, but he doesn't always have the capital in the moment, whether he, he might have to use a refinance or whatnot, but he doesn't always have the capital in the moment to invest a deal. So his time and his creativeness and his ability to understand his game that he's playing around passive income is what allows him to create more. And again, he's not going from zero to $10,000 in a year or $10,000 in a month, like overnight, it takes time. Most people, they have to hit a certain point where they say, you know what? I no longer need this job. I no longer need to be active in income. I can live off of the passive income. And again, as we talked about earlier, passive income can fluctuate. So again, you want to make sure that you're living at the baseline. So whatever your bills cost, I would say you would want more than that in passive income coming in. So let's, for example, if your bills came out to $5,000 a month, I would literally make sure I have 10 to $12,000 a month in passive income before I left whatever it is that I was putting most of my time and energy into actively, right? Now, sometimes leaving that job can accelerate more passive income, but everyone's situation is different. So the truth is, again, most people don't live off of it. Most people actually spend it. I know my wife and I, for a while, we've been, we've been blessed enough to have a business where we created passive income for the last six years. And there were seasons where we've lived off of that versus taking that money to either build a nest egg for an investment or invest it into, in certain cases, we've done stocks and crypto, but we are putting that in a vehicle that will allow us to multiply that money. And so not everyone does that. 
All right, it takes, you know, it takes a little bit of time for some people to wake up. All right, so I wanted to share with you all these truths that no one tells you about, right, around passive income, because I've lived through all of these personally. I've coached people personally through all of this, and I don't want you to be fooled. It's awesome to see people living life and having passive income coming in, but I want it and seeing their highlight reel. But again, as I said earlier, we want to also keep it real with you. I will always keep it real with you. Yes, do we love travel? Do we love fancy things and nice things? Sure. Do we experience them them all the time? Are we going to the Ritz Carlton every month in Maui? No. However, we're working towards that. That's a goal, which we're enjoying the journey along the way, but we're here about creating passive income and so if you're someone that's looking to create passive income again it's grows slowly and it takes time it's hard work but we have opportunities that you might be able to partner with us on and so if you're interested please reach out at masterlifebydesign.com and you can email us on the contact us page all right so with that being said I wanted to set real expectations for you on your journey to passive income maybe you're already on that path and you already are like yep that's that's true that makes sense i hit all these yep you're right or maybe you're just starting out on your journey and you're like okay i need to kind of have changed my expectations so i wanted to keep it real with you guys today so with that if you liked the video give it a thumbs up also comment below let us know what did you take away or what are you living or what one of these fives or more did you go through or experience and so love to hear about that and most importantly hit that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you can be updated when more videos come out like this. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Have a great one. See you guys.